Claudia, I am now in possession of one of the Masyaf keys. And better still, I have discovered a map, encoded with signs and symbols, which I believe will lead me to the remaining keys. Its full meaning is a mystery to me, but I am thankful to have met a Venetian woman willing to help me decipher it. I must not overstate my successes. The Templars still hold one key hostage, and if I am to recover it, I may need more help than the Assassins can provide. If I can make a friend in the Ottoman court, my access to the secrets of this city will improve greatly. A pleasant surprise, Ezio. We should trade stories if I'm not dead by this time tomorrow. Is there a chance of that? We learn that the Byzantines are planning to infiltrate Topkapu Palace now that Prince Suleiman has returned from his Hajj. If they do strike, it will be tonight at a cultural exposition the Prince has organized. So what is our plan? Gardeshim, this is not your fight. No need to snare yourself in the Ottoman affairs. The Byzantines found a key beneath Topkapa Palace, and I would like to know how. Ezio, we want to protect our Shehezade. Not interrogate him. Trust me, Yusuf. Just tell me where to go. Topkapa's main gate. We plan to dress as entertainers and walk right in. I will find the disguise and meet you there. from Italia. I am going to enjoy this. Find thy wounds, noble sin.
I look ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. My blade is too conspicuous in this outfit. Are you armed? That's a deal. You mark the targets, and we will take them out. You, uh, know how to play that thing? I learned a few chords when I was young. When were you ever young? I can't believe I stand here and seeing my time I waste. But you who sit and smile at me... This courtyard is closed to the public. Turn around and start walking. Perdonate, buon signore. We are this evening's entertainment. Any old Gerzek can carry an instrument around. Get lost. Oh, the beauties of Firenze. You sound like a can dying melt a heart, you'll see. Beware the girls of Roma. <laughs> what is this? Fire you wish to there, Batsen! Who judge a lady's character, not well her company. <laughs> if what are wish you doing? To see my sage, come spend the night with me. Hey, Kala! Go in and bother the guests with that noise. Proud Romania's iron lady, a rose of tempered steel, could raise the ardor of a corpse and teach a stone to feel. A minstrel's song, I've heard them say, brings maidens by the score. But luck deserts me when I play, they hasten to the door. I'm dressed up like a jester, I act the fool and mime. All the actions of those I curse and run down all the time. <laughs> While traveling through for Lee, I took her at her leisure. She said it's strictly business, such business was my pleasure. I see in Italiano, you understand no word. But my Greek is non-existent and my Turkish is absurd. No one understands my plight, the life of a musician, singing for impatient men. <laughs> Venetia Grim Doge, a fierce and evil man, was just a trifle red of face when I upset his plan. Ostentinie, I beg you, let Byzantium endure. Constantine's corpse would turn and not Stamboul the core. I am a tagless minstrel. This courtyard is clear, but I do not see Prince Suleiman. Follow me. Cesare, oh Cesare, a man of great depravity, believed himself immortal till. He had a date with gravity. Now this is a celebration. Suleiman, the Sultan's grandson and governor of Kefe. And he's only 17. We met on the ship. He told me he was a student. And who is that? His uncle, Shehezade Ahmed, the Sultan's favorite son. He is grooming himself for the Sultanate as we speak. Sheriffe, Solon is up. Come, we have more Byzantines to find. Fair Lucrezia could not sate her appetite for lovers, but I suspect she would Thank be fine coming. with two or three more brothers. Before Rodrigo was the Pope, he was a man of vices. And well once done, he came you. the Holy See, 
he raised his vices prices. Sing in praise of children, I will croon in praise of dames. I will chant in praise of mighty men when I recall their names. The things I do to save the world, to price me time to time. Like learning how to play the lute and making these words rhyme. We should speak soon. Young Cesare, I heard him say, could not be killed by man. So I tossed him through the air to see where he might land. There once was a man named Duccio, a rat with ledger's taste. Whenever he would show himself, my feast would find his place. Vierio, Vieri, yes, he of fancy fame, was just as mad as his old man, and he did just the same. Young Cesare, I heard him say, could not be killed by man. So I tossed him through the air to see where he might land. A minstrel song, I've heard them say, brings maidens by the score. But luck deserts me when I play, they hasten to the door. There once was a man named Lucio, a rat with ledger's taste. Whenever he would show himself, my feast would find his face. You play beautiful. Cesare, oh Cesare, a man of great depravity, believed himself immortal till he had a date we with gravity. I see Thank in Italiano, you understand no word, but... Suicaccia, Suicaccia! Clear the courtyard! Says Ade Suleiman, take cover! Follow them! Ezio! It is a relief to see you again, mio bel menestrello. Did I say that right? Well enough. I hear you are a governor, too. Is there anything you do not do? I do not talk to strangers. I am Suleiman. Ezio Auditore. Shazadem, are you injured? Who is your captain soldier? Tarot Balete. He is away on an errand. Clear this body and send the guests home. Then summon Tariq to the Divan. Bashus Tunesh as Adem. Tariq Barlete is a captain in the Janissary Corps. The Sultan's elite soldiery. They guard the Sultan, but not his family. Not very well, evidently. Ezio, do you have some time to spare? I would like your opinion on something. I will, once I change out of these rags. Guzel, meet me when you are ready. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlateh. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. 
But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch. Heed my nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today, your Janissaries were outshone by an Italian loot player. Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, Effendim. I will conduct a full investigation. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanat Orwan. Tariq Bey, a word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tariq, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed. I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? You'd better. You are weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. <laughs> you make a decent philosopher, Ahmed. But you will be a poor sultan. You may show yourself out. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can. of fate have drawn us together. Two Italiani, lost and alone in the Orient. Do you not feel the... magnetismo? I feel many things, Messere. Nausea above all. Is this man bothering you, Sophia? Excuse me, Messere. But the lady and I are... Oh! Oh! Il diavolo in persona! Stay back! Duccio. A pleasure. Run, buona donna! Run for your life! Who was that? Uncane. He was engaged to my sister many years ago. And what happened? His cazzo was engaged to six others. Chiedovenia. So what brings you to these docks? I took a break from my work to retrieve a package. But here they claim the captain's papers are not in order. So I wait. Che seccatura. I could be here all day. 
Let me see what I can do. I know a few ways to bend the rules. Do you now? See, I will meet you back at your shop. Lost his mind. Oh, that's certainly not a bad sign. Salute, Ezio. Any luck? Mademigella Sofia Sartor, Libraia, Constantinopoli. Oh no, look at the damage. Did they use this to fight off pirates? Well, so far so good. Ah, oh, beautiful, no? This is a print of a map by Martin Walsemuller. See here? The new lands, described by Messer Amerigo Vespucci. Poor Cristoforo Colombo. History has a strange way of unfolding. What do you make of this body of water here? A new ocean, perhaps. Most of the scholars I know claim the size of the globe has been underestimated. Incredibile. The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. Well, you honored your promise. Here is mine fulfilled. If we are correct, this should show you the location of the first book. I must admit, my head is swimming with the prospect of seeing these books. This is knowledge the world has lost, and must have again. Perhaps I could print a few copies to distribute myself. Or a small run of 50 or so, that should be enough. <laughs> Perché ridi? Forgive me. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so personal and noble. It is inspiring. Goodness. Where is this coming from? Grazie, Sofia. I will return.
fazla çalışıyorum. Bütün gün kutu taşıyorum ve akşamları babama fırında yardım ediyorum. Hiç boş bakarım bunları da Çok fazla çalışıyorum. Bütün gün... You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer, just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Are you fit to travel? Well enough, yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al-Mulim's death. Would you ride to Akre and do the same? Of course. How did it come to this? My mind was clear, but my body, it would not move. Was our mentor the cause of this confusion? I do not believe Mar What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting? I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Sable in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe al Mualim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the Apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The Apple is safe in al Mualim's study. When I am finished here, I will show you all I know. No! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims. ...while well, belittling and humiliating those around you! Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al-Mualim is bewitched! Ah! Just let me go! Stay away from me! 
for me! No need to kill me! Or we could be friends! And you could just let me go! I will do anything! Just let me go! What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas! Stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved al Mulim less than anyone! You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero! This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it! No man is. It is beautiful, is it not? Altair, barely 26 and already a Grand Master in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? <laughs> <laughs> 